Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a makeup room tour. I haven't done one of these yet. I know I've done a video on my jewelry and my shoe room, but I haven't done one on my makeup room. So I'll go ahead and take you inside. And um, we've actually got a master bath right off of our bedroom. So we've got the, the double French doors that lead into the bathroom. So I'll kind of just show you where I do all of my makeup. So we've got a double sink vanity. And you can tell what side is mine, of course. We've got that. And my husband's got a side over there, which he is not um, big into, I guess, pampering as I am. So you can see all of my stuff. Um, so I'll just show you kind of uh, what we got going on here. So on this side, I've got um, just my general stuff that I have been using. I've got a picture of me and my husband. And then I've got this really pretty um, flower that I got at Target. And then I got a couple of my body sprays that I use right after the bath. And then I left out this Physicians Formula um, um, wrinkle filler. I'm actually going to do a review on this stuff. So I, I left that out so that I wouldn't forget. So I've got um, just like the stuff that I use on my face for my um, just morning routine, my L'Oreal. And then I've got um, my lipsticks and lip glosses out on display. And in this box, I just have like my balms in here, um, my Maybelline Color Whispers. And then in little wine glasses, I just put um, a bunch of my lip glosses and I just put like a little um, ribbon on that. I've got that. I've got some of my perfumes. I love my Ed Hardy perfume. And I actually just got um, this Hollister perfume um, the other day in the mail. So I really love that stuff. And then I've got my... My Muji drawer that I got off of um, Muji's website. And this thing is amazing. It doesn't hold a ton of stuff. Um, I'll kind of show it to you. So I gotta move my mirror out of the way. So, top drawer, I've got just some basic palettes in here, um, some extra mascaras. Um, yeah, it's just a couple of, of like the smaller palettes. And then in this drawer, I've got a lot of my hard candy. And then I've also got my um, couple of my balm products in here as well. And I think that sometimes it'll if you pile it too much; it'll get kind of stuck. And then I've got um, eyeshadow palettes here, and I've got some Wet n Wild palettes, Maybelline palettes, um, some balm. And then I've got more eyeshadow palettes here, um, some of the limited editions um, from Wet n Wild. Um, tried out this, the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. It's a really, really wet formula. I don't know that I love it. And then the drawer down here, I've got um, extra lashes. I actually just picked up the, the Rain Cosmetics lashes um, off of Hot Look. And they're so pretty. I tried one on just to see kind of what it looks like. And it was really, really nice. So then on the other side, I've got uh, more perfume. My Express Perfume. And then again, I put more lip glosses into little wine glasses with little bows. And then up top, I've got um, pretty much these are the perfumes that I use every single day. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I know that Victoria's Secret doesn't make this one anymore. And I'm not sure why. I really love it. And then I've got my Urban Decay All Nighter. And then in this jar, I just got like little rollerball um, perfumes that I use. And then my other really, really favorite scent right now is the um, Limited Edition Bombshell and the Italian Iris scent. And then I've got uh, my, these are all just my shadow brushes. Um, and I think, yeah, these are all just shadow brushes there. And then I've got um, my little kabukis, 
my Sedona lace, and then um, this one was actually a Victoria's Secret from a couple years ago. And then I've got just my um, plain, I've got my e.l.f. brushes right here. I've got my Real Technique brushes. I actually, um, let's see here. These are um, the newer brushes from Real Techniques, the Duo Fiber. Um, got these um, in a limited edition set. And I have to say, I really don't love them, so I don't know if I'm able to return them or not since I've used them. But And then um, this thing I actually just got at um, Home Goods um, the other night. Um, I thought it thought, thought, if I can talk, <laughs> I thought it was super cute with the little pretty rhinestones. And it looks a little pinkish, but it's actually, um, I would say this is probably like a purpley blush tone. It's really, really pretty. I paid like $5.99 for it. And then I just put my Sedona Lace brushes in here since those are my um, really good brushes too. And then um, I just have a little stool that I sit at when I do my makeup. And I actually just covered like an older stool that had um, some painting on it. It had like little dots on the on the very top right here. So I just covered it because it was kind of, um, I know it kind of hurt a little bit when I sat down on it. And then I've got my everyday makeup drawer here. So I've got, um, this side's got all of my eyeshadows, um, eyeshadow palettes, um, and then some of my single eyeshadows that I use every day. So these are my everyday colors in here. And then um, I've got um, some primers right here. I haven't really found a primer that I really, really love, but I had tried um, the Pixie out and I did like this one. So I'll have to, I guess, see what I can do from there. And then I've got uh, my blushes, my bronzers, um, and I'm really, really in love with this um, blush from e.l.f. It's in Tickled Pink. It's a super pretty color. Um, it might be somewhat comparable with the Hot Mama, possibly. Um, I'd have to do like a comparison swatch or something like that to see. And then I did pick up the Wet n Wild um, foundation. And I bought this in the color, let me see here, I can't see it. It's light medium. And it's actually, I would say, definitely medium. So if you're fair skin and have a little bit of color, the light medium is actually going to be too dark for you. So I've got that. And then I have just kind of like the other side of my bathroom cabinet that I have everything in. Like this drawer or this side has got a ton of my self tanning products in here. I keep all that in there, all my gloves and mitts and stuff like that. And then this side has all my extras. Um, stuff that I can't keep out, like deodorant and tons of body lotions and stuff like that. And then this side, I've got all of my hair care products, um, hairsprays, I've got my um, shine stuff, my conditioners, all of that in there. And then I've got my shower that holds all of my hair care other products, and then a basket for all of my extras. So this is a tour of my makeup room. We actually just painted my bathroom. I actually just painted my bathroom. And I'm in love with this color. I have this color almost everywhere in my house, a really dark gray color. Let me see if it'll show if I, yeah, turn that off so it's a little bit better so you can see it. It's a really great dark gray color. It looks super, super nice against the white doors and maple trim. And I love my jacuzzi tub, love it. Never had one before before we bought this house. And I actually just got um, this pretty cute little um, picture. I got that at Target. It's a, um, I can't remember. I think it was like $14.99, $16.99. Can't really remember. And then I've got a bathroom on this side. My walk-in closet is directly ahead and then a linen closet. And then I'll do an updated um, closet tour once I get everything more organized in there. But this is just the main tour of my makeup area where I go to get ready. And if you guys have any questions at all, go ahead and feel free to comment below. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.